Hey, what's up fighting game friends? This video will be covering the best strategies and ways you can show up your homies any day of the week. First off, if you are new to the 3D Mortal Kombat era, you must understand that it comes from a darker time for fighting games. Patches were minimal, if at all, and netplay was slowly being introduced in many titles, but it was far from perfect. Offline was always my first choice. Things are super broken, but still a lot of fun. Before we get into it, to get your best experience with this game, I do recommend playing on older CRT TVs and using component video cables. MK7 Reptile may not have as many mix-up options as his MK Deadly Alliance counterpart, but he definitely still is pretty tricky and even has invisibility in his moveset now to hide some of the tell out of your sweeps and low pokes. Just remember, anytime you switch to Karihashi, you will expose your position. Before I talk about the special moves, let's get into the good normals and strengths to use that may not get you punished for all your health. Reptile was given Liu Kang's fighting style from MK Deception, so he's missing out on how good he is in Hungar or Crab Stance from MK5. In his fighting style, also known as Hand to Hand, I'll just call it POW for short, you pretty much want to lead with your standing four every time you are on the offensive. Standing four is an overhead kick that trails into all the best strings which track decently and have forward advancing movement. Here are some of the best examples. Standing four up four is a great pop up that doesn't scale too bad and although it's not completely safe because the block button is put on cooldown, you aren't super restricted to your movement as you can back dash, jump, sidestep and more almost right after. If the opponent is not watching carefully, you can avoid a punish. The same applies for 411 back 2. You can condition some opponents with the 411 stance change, which is pretty safe if you make it to the end of the string, but there is a big gap between 1 and stance change. This can work in your favor because once the opponent knows to punish your string, you can mix it back into doing the 411 back 2s. One thing to note is that the 1-1s one are highs as well as the back 2 and the back 1, which you pretty much only want to use as a combo ender for decent hit advantage. Because most strings are punishable, you'll want to switch up the strings I've mentioned on block. The objective of MK7 is simply to get your opponent into the air so you can air cancel them until they run out of breakers, and if you're good enough at your reps, you can easily time out most of your wins. Boss characters can't be air cancelled, but you can restand them with a 1 1 stance change to Karihashi after you've launched them. It's a smart idea to stay in Karihashi against boss characters and do a lot of 2 2 3s. The reason I only listed 3 block strings for POW is because all the other strings are extremely punishable and riddled with highs. Strings starting from 1 1 are good for punishing because they have the quicker startup and they track well, but just be careful using them. Now let's go over weapon style. Karihashi is pretty straightforward and doesn't have many usable moves. Many strings are highs, have hitbox issues, and are highly punishable. At the right distance, you really just want to do the 2-2-3 two, two, string as it's the safest. It hits high, then follows with two overheads. The next best thing is the up one, and even though it isn't near as safe, it provides decent pushback and consists of all overheads. Really, the only low in Karihashi is the sweep, or back three. You will mainly want to stay out of Karihashi unless you're fighting against boss characters. Many attacks have too much startup for how unsafe they can be, and the high attacks are pretty much a no-go. So on to special moves. Truly the only special moves you'll likely use are Acid Spit as a zoning tool and Chameleon which is invisibility. Reptile's role used to hit low in MK5, but now it pretty much is just a true mid. Highly punishable of course, but it covers good distance and allows blocking and movement sooner than running Serpent on whip. Still rare to use in high level. A cool trick to increase the distance of your attacks is to parry cancel before pressing them, meaning that you cancel out of the startup animation of a parry by quickly pressing your normal of choice. In closing, I'll just say Reptile requires you to be somewhat annoying with your low pokes and sweeps at first. This is so you can condition your opponent to block low enough of the time. 
Once they are aware of the lows from certain distances, it really brings the power to the standing four string starters. Thanks everyone for watching, hope you have a good day and have some fun playing Mortal Kombat.